everyone, welcome to Hunters Connect. Today we are going to be talking about how to make wild game snack sticks. And so for these snack sticks, I'm gonna be using elk, but you could substitute that with venison or antelope, moose, any red wild game meat would do. And in addition to the elk, I'm mixing it with some pork and it's pork fat and also actual pork meat, about half and half. And I'm mixing some of that in with the elk meat. Other ingredients that I'm using are some seasonings, some pepperoni seasonings that I got from a local sausage supply company here in town. And with that came a cure that I'm going to be using. And then I'm stuffing these into collagen casings. And the only other ingredient we really need is just some ice water that we're going to mix in as well. All right, so first step, I'm just going to take my elk and my pork. They've both been cut into one inch cubes that'll fit in my grinder. And I'm just gonna mix them together with my seasonings, ice water, and cure. So now it's time to start grinding. And I'm gonna do two grinds. First, I'm gonna do an initial grind that's a lot more coarse. Get it all through there once. And then I'm gonna switch to a different plate, which is gonna give us a finer grind for the second time grinding all the meat through. All right, so now after all the meat has been ground, I'm gonna go ahead and load my sausage stuffer. I'm gonna put my casings on the stuffing tube and I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing. So once all the meat has been stuffed into the tubes, now you can twist them, some people do. I'm just gonna leave them whole, put them in my smoker, and then I will cut them to length after. So I'm gonna put my smoker at about 130 degrees. I'm gonna do that for an hour. And then I'm gonna bump it up to about 145 degrees and do that for probably a couple hours. And then lastly, I'm gonna finally bump my smoker up to about 175 degrees to try to get the internal temp to just a safe temperature. Um, so the meat's at about maybe 160, 165. After they reach a safe internal temperature, I'm gonna pull them off and rinse them in cold water or you could bathe them in a cold tub of water. After I've cooled them down a little bit, then I'm gonna dry them off and you can either put them in a cooler or put them in your fridge for a while to cool down the rest of the way before packaging them. All right, so that's how you make wild game snack sticks. I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out our other videos here on Hunters Connect.